We have already encountered a lot of functions, powers, exponentials, trigonometric functions and the complex logarithm. The only class we did not discuss yet are the inverse trigonometric functions, so what about this last class? We can rewrite them in terms of other functions, so that's good, but we have to be really, really careful when doing so, as you will see in this example, where we will, we will discuss the complex arctangent function, which is actually a bit easier than the arc sine and the arc cosine. But even here we have to be really careful. So we want to know uh, what is f of z, the uh, arctangent of z. Well, let's set w equals f of z. That means that we want to uh, know what w is, w equals arctangent of z, and we want to find w in terms of z. Well, w equals arctangent of z means tangent of w equals z, and we have to solve for w in terms of z. As we'll see later on, we uh, have to make a choice uh, somewhere of some branch, and we'll set uh, f of 1, so the arctangent of 1 to pi over 4, so it coincides with the normal real arctangent. So let's solve for w. Tangent w equals z, tangent w equals sine of w over cosine of w, you know what the sine of w is, you know what the cosine of w is, so let's plug them in. So z equals sine over cosine, sine equals e to the power iw minus e to the power minus iw uh, over 2i, and cosine equals e to the power iw plus e to the power minus iw over 2, so minus sine missing over there. Uh, and uh, we can so we want to solve for w, so the trick is here, we have e to the power iw, e to the power minus iw, to set p equals e to the power iw, so we get the p over there, and the p over there, and the e to the power minus iw becomes e to the power iw to the power minus 1, equals 1 over p, so where you get 1 over p over there and over there. Uh, then we we'll multiply by p to get a, a 1 over i, a p squared minus 1 over p squared plus 1. Remember, we want to solve for w, p equals e to the power i w, so we can solve for p as well. So multiply by p squared plus 1 and by i, then we get p squared plus 1 times i times z on the left hand side, and we have only left the p squared minus 1 on the right hand side. We solve for p, so we bring the p squared to the left and the i z to the right, so we get the p squared times i z over here, which we already had, we get a, a minus p squared from the <coughs> other side, we get a minus 1 which we already had, and we get a minus i z from the left hand side over here. And then we can uh, divide by <coughs> i z minus 1, so we get a p squared equals a minus i z minus 1 divided by i z minus 1, and or take out the minus signs, uh, 1 plus i z over one minus i z. And remember p was e to the power i w, so uh, p squared equals e to the power 2 i w. So we almost have our, our, our we almost have our w in terms of z. <coughs> we only have this exponential, we have to be a bit careful when taking logarithms. So we set on the left hand side we just leave the e to the power 2 i w. On the right hand side we turn this in an exponential as well. Uh, the rubbish equals e to the power log of the rubbish. So there we are, and then we can, can cancel out the exponentials. Uh, if we take into account this factor 2k pi i, then the uh, e to the power a equals e to the power b if uh, a, and then a equals b plus a multiple of 2 pi i, because it, e to the power 2k pi i equals 1. Uh, <coughs> so now we can almost solve for w, but we want to know our k, k on which branch we are. For that we use our condition f of 1 equals pi over 4, so we plug in z equals 1 and we plug in uh, w equals pi over 4, and that will yield our k, that will tell us which value of k we have to choose. So we set z1, w equals pi over 4, so <coughs> this 2i w becomes 2i pi over 4 uh, equals the log of 1 plus i over 1 minus i plus 2k pi i. Simplify this uh, log by multiplying by 1 plus i, numerator and denominator. So our log becomes 1 plus i squared in the numerator, and 1 plus i times 1 minus i equals 1 minus i squared equals 1 minus minus 1, so 2 
over here. And 1 plus i squared equals 1 plus 2i plus i squared equals 2i over 2 equals the log of i. And it's easy, that's the ln of 1 plus i times the argument, so pi i over 2. So now we see that the uh, pi i over 2, which we have over here, equals the log of i equals pi over 2 over here. So that means that this k has to be 0, that means that, that term has to vanish. This, our choice, due to our choice over here. With another choice, we would have another value of k. And then we conclude uh, that uh, w equals the arctangent of z equals this log divided by 2i. Well, you know, if you have a log, you have to be careful of branch points and branch cuts. So where are the branch points and the branch cut for the arctangent? Well, here if you have a function g of psi equals the log of psi, your branch points are at 0 at infinity. That's known. So where are your branch points now? Well, when the argument of your log is either 0 or infinity, so when is this 0 or infinity? Well, at minus i you are at 0, at plus i you are at infinity. That means that your branch points will be at plus or minus i. And we have for a branch cut, well, you can choose any curve joining plus or minus i. So that's, uh, that's your arctangent rewritten in terms of a log, uh, including its branch points and branch cut.